Headline News Update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman, Tiger Technicians Hour, coming up straight off of this TFNN noon update. Dow is up 9 at 25,135. There was an indication yesterday that there should be a 9 to 11 point rally in the futures overnight. And there was, in fact, there's been two of those rallies, and yet the, the market just is struggling to get out of its own way. Look, the Dow on the left side chart making a potential head and shoulders break to the neckline going below the 25,222 level. Yesterday went to 24,938, trading right now at 25,128. Look at the weekly chart with two days to go. This weekly chart has just uh, to, today and tomorrow to try to break back up into the 25,300s to kind of save the day, at least in the weekly chart. Technicals are quite weak. And look at the monthly chart with a day and a half to go. How can it uh, save the day in this monthly? And this is a spectacular move to the upside. So this big red candle, if that's the candle for May, we will have to uh, talk about how the support levels in, in, in June are going to be so important. S&P is also down. S&P right now is down. Uh, oh, it's up 1.80 at 2784. It went under the 200 period moving average. It really has to try to get to the 2805 area um, within the next few days because if it gets back under 27.76 uh, in the next two days, that's not a good sign. QQQ right now, the index 100 is up 0.51 at 176.54. Hasn't touched the 200 period moving average. Gold, this is going to be interesting. Gold's having a very nice rally up 5.5 at 1291. 200 period moving average resistance at 12.94. And the dollar, the dollar at this moment is up. Uh, it's just unchanged, actually, at 98.16, holding very well in the upper range. Next week is going to be quite important in terms of where the dollar, if the dollar breaks above 98.50, that'll be very positive. So wrapping up here before we get to my show, um, if you cannot stay tuned for the Tiger Conditions Hour, um, hope to see you tomorrow at the same time.